So it's been a while since we showed you kind of any construction refit stuff we've done and we had a bit of a pause because of baby and hurricane and stuff like that and we also spent a fair bit of time working on the engines making the engines nicer. So I will show you what we've done because we have done a fair bit since the last time we showed you but it's not done yet. Let's show you some of the things that we've done. First we'll show you some of the engine stuff. So. I've done a lot of things you can't see. I've put two layers of insulation in this wall and two layers of insulation behind that wall because this is was just basically open to the outside elements on the other side. It was behind fiberglass, but there's no insulation. So there's insulation in the walls now. Um, and one of the big things we did, we painted the top of this white, uh, which I still need to clean. It's got some grease on it, but painted the top of these white uh, because it looks cleaner. And when there is grease, you can see it. To clean it as opposed to getting your blankets on grease and stuff and you can see right now it's a little bit dirty. Uh, another thing I did is the struts that helped lift up this engine bays were old and kind of weak and some of one of them just didn't work so I put new ones in. They're a bit peppy they lift 60 pounds each so the good news is once you pull on it and get it past a certain point it basically does all the work for you and raises so the bubble. Nice. <laughs> Before I had to lift and then stick a, uh, a broom pole in there to keep it open. Now it moves the bed out of the way and everything. Now a modification that I'm working on making still that we already have on the other side is that there's LEDs that automatically turn on when the lid lifts. Now this already happens on the other side, but uh, I still need to wire it up here. So what we did in the engine room, we moved this stuff, the fuel filter and the strainer were in the back of the engine. You can kind of see where they were. And that was a pain in the butt to check every day and to see if they were working. So we've moved them forward. The anti-siphon vent, which these two hoses are, used to live up here in this lock closet, which is no longer here and it was just a mess and in the way. So we moved them into the rudder room and it's actually a shorter run of hose. So we have less hose in here and it's more organized. We also, although this one's a little bit dirty, cleaned a lot in the bilge to, uh, just it was full of oil and socks full of sand and just there was crazy stuff in there it took us days and days and days to clean out the bilges and make them dry so that we could tell if there was stuff in there um we put all new hoses on anywhere where there was an original hose so brand new hoses on the whole engine and brand new alternators also there used to be starting batteries in here we removed the starting batteries and we're one bank boat now so the engines start from the lithium bank and they we have new starters so with the new starters and lithium powering everything we weigh less we're cleaner and we start like that now so it's it's really good it's also with the leds in the evening time uh, i used to have to wear a headlamp to like do my engine checks now even if there's no light you can see that there's light from every angle, given our little LEDs that we built. The, and I really, really like the LEDs. They make working on the engine a lot more bearable. All right, so, and we did this on both sides, all the cleaning, the LEDs. Then, like I said, there's, gonna, there's an automatic switch that I need to install on this side. So when it opens, lights on. Um, it makes working on engines a lot better. So let's close this to turn this off for now one downside of these really peppy things you actually gotta lean on it a little bit to get it to close but it's nice you can see here that's where Kira sleeps I think we showed you this already we also have uh, re rewired we stripped all the wiring the uh, AC powered wiring out so we now have AC powered wiring back in this hole all right moving on over here we have closets. I'm pretty sure you didn't see closets yet. So we're still working on building out some area right here. We're gonna make a desk made, uh, area with some shelves underneath, but this is Jessica's closet for right now. It's got nice hinges that open a lot. We still have to finish. Obviously there's no finished work. So the inside of the closets need to be finished. The outside of the closets need to be finished. This one, I need to move the latch a little bit. It's not right the right spot here's my closet that opens up needs a lot better this is the holding tank area 
that doesn't, there's not much room right now, and there's basically just tools in there, but, um, that's that. So there used to be two doors here, one door here and one door here. I've filled those doors in and cut a new hole for this door and uh, refinished this wall a little bit just to have something that looks halfway finished. And then built this door from scratch, still unfinished, but um, here we go. This was a pain in the butt to build. Alrighty, we had a uh, someone who wanted to be part of the video. We also installed lights that we are thin LED lights that just didn't used to exist here at all because these used to be two bathrooms. So now we have nice LED lighting. Moving forward into the bathroom, the bathroom, the head is starting to, I mean, there's a lot going on, basically all the finished work still, but we have a floor, we have a toilet, we have lights that need to be installed. Um, insulation up top, this Reflectix, and now I'll put some more polystyrene up. Um, and then I'm just in general going to move the ceiling up, but the bathroom's white. This is where the V berth used to be, um, and you've seen them before. So I backfilled this and kind of finished this wall a little bit. Um, stepping in, oh, we have, so we have the lights. We also have a vent to move steam out. So we're not steaming up the boat when we're taking showers. I did the floor. So this room is still very much under construction. We're um, going to get some countertops to put on each side here. So this is going to be countertop space. Our sink here works nicely. We have a little pot uh, filler thing. I saw that Sailing Uma got one of these similar and I was like, that's a really good idea. So we got one. Um, so we have our sink in here. It's a nice, really full size sink. Uh, we're gonna build a medicine cabinet here that kind of hangs out a little bit with some LED lighting underneath. We have our AC power here, and then we have one on the other side here. And then this is a, going to be a wet locker. This is gonna be where we hang our wetsuits or foul weather gear. Um, still working on it. There's a door that needs to go here and paint it and put fans on it and let it drip into the sump. We have a sump now, actually, that sumps overboard instead of having the shower water go straight into the bilge. Uh, the sink also goes into that sump. And then we have the shower. The shower is still a work in progress. Um, it actually works really well. Really nice showers. The caulking is ugly. I need to redo it. I've never done caulking before. My first attempt was pretty horrendous. Uh, but we have... Oh, and we're also going to fill this with acrylic. So this little terrible shower curtain is going to go away. So we're going to have a, a nice door here, that clear door that opens. But as you can see, this is a good countertop space with extra storage and countertop space here and a, a good shower and then a whole toilet room. And in this toilet room, in this closet here, we're going to put kind of a uh, RV washer dryer unit for a short term that also uses the sump to go out. So, I mean, it's, it's progressing, you know, the ability to have a door to the bathroom that you close, lights and a fan, um, and the bathroom actually has this cool little cast iron locking mechanism thing. It's kind of old school, but this was $30, and the ones that you buy, the actual marine ones, were $150, and this is just, this is cool. So, um, yeah, last time you saw it, this was all just stripped down to fiberglass. This is a marked improvement, and... Um, that patrons we showed. Yeah, we, we did show the patrons a, a little bit of this stuff already. So yeah, a lot of finished work left to do and some construction left to do, um, but it's an owner's version. We can live in this and, and move around and with our understanding that, you know, the finished work is to come, the ceiling is yet to come, but, um, you know, bit by bit. So the, the fact that the engines start every time now and have all new hoses and we don't have to worry about electrical problems, uh, and the alternators are super punchy. Like we have kind of the concrete skeletal stuff done on the boat and now we can start doing the more pretty things. So, and, and we're gonna cruise. So here is the update, not done, but we are pleased with how it's coming. All right, we'd like to say thank you to our patrons for helping support the channel. We also have new shirts out that we really like. I designed them so I could wear them and like them. And I really like, this is one of our new shirts, Aloha Pony Sailing. Um, the, they should be linked right below the video if you're curious to help support the channel, that's a good way to do it. 
Uh, we also have Instagram, which is linked below, Jessica and Ryan Adventures on Instagram. Thanks to our patrons for help supporting us. I'm planning on getting videos out more regularly, kind of as we getting back into the groove of things living on the boat. So like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.